Hi, my name is Eric Bryant. I'm going to be teaching the Core Craft class. This is based on some work that I did at HB Studio uh, a few years ago. So, so this class focuses on five specific exercises that um, help the actor discover and create a, a full and natural and fully realized life on stage. Um, the, the exercises themselves are uh, exercises that incorporate destination, uh, relationships, um, objectives, tactics, and, and also a lot of self-observation. Uh, these exercises are, are meant to be done solo, meaning that you're going to be, you won't have to work with a partner. Um, and they are um, rehearsed improvisations. So you'll be spending time rehearsing the, the exercise and then uh, come in, but always leaving some room for uh, improvisation to happen. So one of the things that uh, we're going to be working on is letting go of the performance mindset and really focusing on the craft of creating a physical life on stage. One of the things that I really believe is, it, is that acting is all about behavior. Yes, there's an emotional component to it, but really it's about how do we behave as human beings? How do we relate to each other? How do we relate to our surroundings? How do our circumstances, everything from the weather to our emotional state, how do those things impact us in terms of our behavior? And so that's the thing that this class is really going to be focused on. Um, each of these exercises, like I said, is designed to uh, explore an aspect of that. And the students will be presenting the exercise. I'll be providing some feedback. I mentioned earlier that uh, the focus is less on performance and more on behavior. Um, so it may be just a little bit different approach than, uh, than you might get in, in a traditional scene study class, for example. So the, the, the most important thing that an actor can bring with them to the class is a sense of understanding who they are and how different circumstances in their lives impact their behavior. The one thing that we really want to work on uh, as actors is making everything very specific. And so each of these exercises is going to draw on a very specific moment of time um, that the actor has, has lived through in their life. Um, so uh, we're going to be looking at, you know, w what was the weather that day? I, one of the questions that I uh, often use when I'm describing this class is everybody brushes their teeth in the morning, right? But when you think about how you brush your teeth, that can be impacted by how much sleep you've gotten. It can be impacted by, you know, what you've got on your mind. It can be impacted by uh, a variety of different factors. So it's not just a, ma a matter of putting toothpaste on a toothbrush and sticking it in your mouth. It's really about bringing to life, you know, did I just have an argument with my wife? Um, do I have to, <laughs> exactly, do I have to, uh, am I running late for a meeting? Uh, do, it, what's the weather out outside? Do I have to think about that? What's going on in my, specific circumstances while I'm brushing my teeth. Um, so all of these exercises were developed by uh, an actor named Uta Hagen, uh, which most people are familiar with. Uh, she's primarily a stage actress. She, uh, she originated the role of, of Martha in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. She uh, played um, Stella in, in um, uh, Streetcar Named Desire. Um, she's also done a lot of film work, and I would say that she is probably the, the, the person who would best exemplify this kind of work. Um, somebody else that, that uh, people might be more familiar with would be Sandy Dennis, uh, who was also in Virginia Woolf. Um, more recently, somebody who I think works very specifically and very... Uh, very much in the, uh, the, 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 the format, the, the method, if you will, that, that this class 
um, uses is uh, Gene Hackman. Everything that he does is very specific. It's very rooted in, in, in behavior. It's very rooted in um, his own observations about his life.